mobile streaming to YouTube. If you're interested in how to do that, we're going to cover all the tips and tricks from apps that you can use to gear to improve your live streams, like camera lenses, everything you need to know from to make your phone into a mobile filmmaking and live streaming studio. So it should be a fun, fun episode. Welcome. Buckle your seatbelts. This is Wirecast Live. We'll be right back after these opening credits. Welcome to another episode of Wirecast Live. Today is Thursday, January 24th, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Time in lovely California. Thank you for joining us for another episode of our weekly live show. If you want to get show updates, upcoming topics, well, this is the place to come for anything related to live video, video streaming, video production, and we are here each week live on Facebook and YouTube, and you can get all that information from our guests to our topics to anything else you want to know about the show directly, delivered directly to your inbox if you sign up for our lovely email list, which you can find at telstream.net slash Wirecast Live. So that's a great place to sign up. Of course, you could also follow us on the socials just by turning on your live notifications on YouTube or Facebook. Or you can follow us on Twitter, where we tweet out what's going on and our latest episodes. So it should be impossible not to find us on your favorite channel. If you're a first-time viewer, thanks for joining us. If you are watching On Demand, we do post all of our episodes to YouTube. And you can check out all the great past shows and guests that we've had. And we will often clip out small segments or helpful chunks of each interview so check that out we will upload those periodically to the socials so thank you for joining us today we have a great show for you so we are going to be covering just some quick announcements as well as uh then we'll be moving on to our main segment which is a guest which i'm very pleased to have back on the show this is his second time appearing on wirecast live and if you are an active member of our facebook chat or uh the community you can often see him hanging out in the comment section he knows a lot about our topic today so we'll be getting into that and then our topic will be covering will be mobile live streaming to youtube is the title but we'll be covering mobile live streaming in general as well as mobile filmmaking because there's so much to know often you just want to shoot video and record it and edit it later you may not want to necessarily go live a lot of the equipment you might use will go back and forth and we have a contest we're actually giving away free stuff on the show today so uh or we're going to tell you how to enter to win some free stuff we'll actually announce the contents rules towards the end we'll get into that and then we'll wrap up the show so it should be a fun one for you guys i just want to say a quick shout out to everyone who's joining us i see lutz in the crowd i see nicholas welcome and uh via loto from finland welcome i'm gonna see if my comment system is working so i'll see if i can put these on screen and if everything's working as i intend it so let's pull those on screen if we can deborah lee and make sure you get those going uh, I also want to quickly say a shout out to those for joining us on YouTube. Broadcast Cooper Scully is a past winner of some free stuff. There's Via Lobo. Thank you, or Loto, if I'm saying that right. You can always type that in phonetically if I get it wrong. Uh, Sandra V from uh, last week said she was looking forward to this episode with Dave Basolto. She loves Dave. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about that. He's our guest for today. We also have Jose uh, from... An you know, looks like Macau Productions. So saying hello from Colombia. So yeah, let us know in the chat or the comments where you're joining us from. We'd love to see where our viewers are tuning in from. We have a worldwide audience and it's really fun to see where you all are joining us from. And if you would like, please share this out to anyone on your feeds. If you think they might be interested, we'd love to have more members join our conversation we have an active mem uh, chat going on the facebook and the youtube i'll be keeping an eye on those comments during the show 
All right. Uh, other than that, quick announcement. Next, week episode, next week's episode is going to be um, entirely – sorry, Deborah Lee, I'm forgetting who's on the show next week. Can you – I forgot to write that down. But um, we have a guest coming on, and I think we're going to be – I think we're going to be talking with our friends over at Elgato. Um, but don't quote me on that. You can check um, – all of the latest live events at telestream.net slash live slash slash events, which is on our website. So, um, but yeah, I believe we'll be talking from our folks from Elgato. If it's not them, it actually might be. Um, oh no, I remember now. It's going to be. I think it's going to be Miss Ben Ratner. Yeah, it's going to be Ben Ratner. So that's actually going to be a really great show as well. Very excited. We have uh, joining us next week an Emmy Award-winning television producer by the name of Ben Ratner, and we'll be getting into the art of live production. So he's going to be very good. And then down the pike, we've got El Gato coming on the show as well. So lots of good stuff for you in the works here at Wirecast Live. And uh, that's just how we roll here. Okay, so without further ado, I want to jump into our topic for today. I want to bring on our guests, and we're going to talk about mobile live streaming. And hopefully, by the end of this, you're going to be an expert in the types of gear you need, type of apps you can use, and workflow tips to improve your mobile live productions and mobile live streamings from your phone or mobile device. And hopefully, you can even win some free stuff. Okay, so I would like to welcome to our show Mr. Dave Basolto, the CEO of and founder co-founder of Iographer, a, uh, a little company that is killing it in the peripheral space for your phone, iPhones, and mobile devices. And he's also the former broadcast teacher at San Marino High School in Southern California, where he conceived of the idea, he and his students conceived of the idea of the Iographer. And from there, it just took off like a rocket ship, and uh, he hasn't looked back since. So I want to say welcome to my friend and our guest for today, Mr. Dave Basolto. Welcome, Dave. Hey, hello, sir. How good to see you again. And I have to say, I really paid attention to the opening this time, and and it was amazing because I saw you in several different haircuts, <laughs> and I really enjoyed seeing that because I never really paid that much attention, but saw some long hair on you, really short hair, so. I saw various stages of you as a person. I like We it. try to mix it up here, for sure. We've been doing this show, I think, three years now. And just as a quick disclaimer, guys, if you're worried about Dave's quality here, we've had some issues with the Skype connection. Uh, the audio seems to be holding, but uh, you know, when he when we start the connection and we started the call, it was crystal clear, everything's beautiful. And then over time, Skype just seems to just bleh, uh, not work so not well. Like so yeah so apologies for that um that just might be uh, it's not me it's them it's not yeah it's either us or it's and it's not us maybe it's <laughs> it's the skype it's microsoft and skype servers we don't know maybe it's just uh comcast so um dave i want to say thanks so much for coming on the show and uh you know it's been a while since you've been back here on the show so uh tell us a little bit what's been going on with iographer since you came here and maybe for those who don't know what iographer is or what your company does can you talk a little bit about it and how it how it works so we launched so iographer is a case system for iphones or ipads um, this is our brand new product the multi-case that so fits android and iphone devices um, you can add lights lenses microphones uh, to it has handles, you can shoot vertically, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff and really up your mobile filmmaking game. Um, I invented this as a high school media teacher because my students were holding their phones and filming like this and it drove me absolutely mad. <laughs> and so I started to tinker with my 3D software. We created a, a prototype, uh, it went to Kickstarter and now I'm in my fifth year and we're distributed all over the world uh, in fact, Ariana Grande was just seen holding it in a video she did. So I saw things you are crazy. We out some stuff about that. That's that's pretty <laughs> awesome. So um, yeah, I have one here. If you guys didn't get a good, so this is the first model you ever sent us. This was for that's the, the iPad. Kickstarter right there. This is the Kickstarter. So uh, we're just gonna look at a little evolution here. So this was uh, one you sent us for the iPad Mini. Uh, and mm -hmm. it worked fantastically. And one thing I loved about this was that you had this awesome lens system where you could actually um, screw in the lenses. So I'm just going to, uh, you sent us two lenses for this guy and it just popped right in here onto the camera. And then uh, we could just like screw it in 
on the on the camera here and then it would just fit here and then you have these cool little hot shoes on the top mm -hmm. where we could attach microphone you sent us um and we could do lights we could do all kinds of stuff and then it was just so easy and then on the bottom an easy like hole to um you know put it on the tripod on the tripod plate right. so that was that was sort of my first introduction to the Ogfer, and we just we absolutely loved it unfortunately the camera on the ipad mini wasn't amazing so it wasn't always mm -hmm. possible to get super good stuff but that that didn't hold us back from using this and then uh since then obviously phones have been moving at a really rapid pace and so cameras have been moving all over the place so then we got this sort of newer model that you sent us mm -hmm. and it, it had more of an expansion for like these the new like double cameras or 3d cameras yeah and, and it would uh, have a lens clip now that you yes. would clip on so the mm -hmm. lens clip so the, the, the lens just clips on now and that was that was awesome and then i believe <laughs> your newest model you've mm -hmm. been um accommodating almost any phone any phone that people can do uh, because cameras are all over the place now yeah no so, it, it's uh we we were not giving Android any love since day one, since I was an iOS snob. But I started <laughs> to realize there are some really good Android phones. Right. And that and also the fact that Apple continuously came out with different sized phones. Uh, they feel, oh, you know what? Let's move the camera uh, one sixteenth of an inch in this direction. And so it was just a madhouse to try and keep up with it. So we decided, you know, let's make a multi case that you can fit anything in there um, from uh, iPhone 6 all the way up to the 10s Max. This is the, the 10s Max in here. It's mine. Um, and then you could also, we could clip on lenses now if we want to, so we can still line up the lens and use it. I have grown to love, uh, there's a company called Moment Lens. Um, they make very high-end lenses. So note that I never got in the business to be a lens maker. They're lens makers. Um, and so they have this amazing lens that you can pop on filters. Um, this is their lens. It's a wide angle, but they have about eight or nine different lenses. Uh, and they screw on really easily with mm -hmm. their little case, their protective case inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are just high quality. Um, it's kind of like I'm giving them a commercial, but um, I really, really love using their stuff. And then you pop in, um, you know, your microphone of your choice. I've got this ceramonic little shotgun mic right now. Um, you know, it's a $50 mic that will up your game 100%. Um, and then a little mini tripod from, from Manfrotto. And, you know, you can go out there and start creating some great content. Okay, so the whole kit that you just showed there, $50 mic plus the lens, you know, excluding the phone, because obviously phones are mm -hmm. probably the, the most expensive piece of all this. What does all that cost? The mini tripod, the, the everything? So the mini tripod, you're looking at like 25 bucks. Um, the moment, so our iographer multi-case is a $79 investment, but you're not going to have to, uh, as our old cases, which were $50, Right. you had to, if you upgraded your new product, your new... Um, uh, to a new iPhone or iPad, you had to upgrade your case because it wasn't fit sometimes. Right. Um, this thing is going to fit your phone forever. So we expect you to be a one-time buyer of this. What we um, hope for is that you're going to upgrade your accessories over time, of course. Right. Better microphones, wireless options. So anyway, um, the, the, so the case is $79. Um, and then you add on different microphones. And this, little, this microphone right here, like I said, it's a, it's a new one by Ceramonic. Sounds great. I have a, a demo on my YouTube channel. Um, this is a sixty dollar, or uh, yeah, sixty dollar microphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's really, mm -hmm. really, really cheap, um, and it sounds fantastic. And then the moment stuff. I mean, you certainly don't have to use them. You can use no lenses. You can use um, our Agrafer lenses, which are very like thirty dollars a piece. Uh, their stuff, if you buy their protective case, which is inside the Agrafer, that was another thing that the multi case that we wanted to do was people were saying, oh, I got to take my phone out of right. the case every time and pop right. it into the iographer. So we said, you know what, let's fix that. So now you can put in standard protective cases, some life proof type cases fit. Um, um, and then, you know, they have their little lens there. The lenses are where you're going to spend the money um, at, at $99 a pop. Sometimes they have sales, but okay. they are so solid. I mean, you're going to keep them forever. So you're looking at Taking your game up, what let's see, fifty, seventy-five, one hundred and fifty, maybe maybe three hundred and fifty dollars at the most. Right. That's with the lenses and everything, and then right. add your device, 
and you've got a filmmaking kit that you can shoot great video, you can stream on. I mean, you, it's it's amazing. Yeah, no. So edit that's, as well. It, sorry, edit as well. Yeah. So you've got yeah. everything you need all in one kit, which um, and of course your phone you have anyway. So it's not like you're going out and buying a new special camera or device. You're just augmenting and creating it. So um, that is that's pretty amazing. So um, and I, I just want to quickly show. Um, so, you know, the final evolution a little bit closer up. So this was what you finally sent us, which is the new multi case. So this is the mm -hmm. new, I guess, $70 case or whatever. And we can actually, uh, if you want, unbox this right now. And let's actually do an unboxing. Let's Unbox do an unboxing. Wirecast unbox therapy. Okay. And I understand this. Are you giving this away? Is this what we're giving away? We are giving show? that away. We're yes. going to give this away. We're going to Yes. Okay. So we'll not say that particular one. Not keep this keep particular one. one. Okay. Yes. So we're going to, uh, we'll, we'll actually, it. I'm going to unbox it so you can see what's inside. And I haven't actually opened this yet. I was saving it for this interview, for this show. And then um, stick around for the contest rules. We'll cover that in a bit. Okay. So how you can win one of these yourself. Well, actually, I'm scared now because that's the one I put with those snakes that pop out. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm oh, gonna man. have to if I if I die on air, uh, just send the send the, uh, the funeral bill to you, Dave. Okay, okay. so uh, let's look real fast here. I've got um, you've got some cool stickers on the front, which yeah. I can uh, brand my laptop or my case with, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Smart advertising. Uh, yeah. And then we have a cool coupon that you incre you included yeah. a fifteen percent yeah. off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looks yeah. like on a uh, another mobile app software there, and then. We've got this cool, so I'm just gonna pull this out. So there's just a couple like placeholders, just a sort of spacers, uh, cardboard spacers. They're just holding that in there securely. And then you have the IR for case itself and it feels good, it feels solid. There's this sweet little like phone insert card with the instructions, which I really like. We were gonna give phones to everybody, but we decided it would be expensive. I have understood. A, understood. a card was better. Yeah, right. <laughs> And so um, what's neat here is I'm seeing that you've got these cool like spring-loaded uh, sort of um, plungers, which kind of yep. help, I guess, just adjust to the size of the phone. Now, the fact that they're independent, that's really interesting to me. They're not, it's not one system. The top one kind of uh, itself, I'm gonna get the shine here so people can see it, is, is independent of this bottom one. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a reason, is that because some phones won't use both? Uh, no, it's it's actually just so that you could fit it perfectly, line it up perfectly. Plus, we didn't want anything in the middle mm -hmm. um, to obscure the middle because you might want to put cables in there and right. all kinds of stuff. You know, that is so. Let's talk a little bit about that because this the audio is going to be a huge piece. So, getting mm -hmm. using that port on the bottom of your phone is one mm -hmm. of the best ways to to uh, include you know attach either extra battery or a charger, yeah, or just like you're doing there, or a microphone in particular. Most often, a microphone. So you and need actually, this um, space. It's critical. Yes. And, and actually, uh, Belkin makes a thing called the Mobile Rockstar or something like that. That is a, uh, um, it was for iOS. I don't th I think they make it for, for Android yet. But um, plug into Lightning. And then it's got uh, two Lightning adapters in there. Um, and uh, I believe a headphone jack. I'm not sure about that. But no, no, it doesn't have a headphone jack. Two adapters there that you can plug uh, um a microphone into so you can go audio in and out mm -hmm. and then the other ones for power so you can put uh, a battery in there so that's it's really fantastic important. so uh I, I i will actually mention that because um we were talking about mobile equipment and i also brought the dgi osmo mobile whatever kind of gimbal and the thing i can't stand about this like i love the smooth action <laughs> it dies after a few minutes <laughs> yeah the battery but what i can't stand about it is i can't for the life of me get a good microphone connected to this thing because they're they yeah. leave no room on the bottom no room whatsoever whatsoever so the fact that you guys do that what do you recommend for stabilization so you know because you know if i if i want the power of something like the gimbal what do you recommend for a good gimbal for these guys what is that this is the osmo pocket osmo pocket <laughs> okay have you not played with this yet i have not so what's nice about this is, let me just turn it on and geek you out a little bit. So it's a tiny little gimbal. Uh huh. And then what I've been doing with it, because people ask me all the time, can iographer make um, 
make an, uh, an Osmo kind of thing, a gimbal type yeah. axis. And I'm like, I don't know anything about that scientific stuff that I don't know. Right. So this baby here, you can plug this. Um, I just bought this new mount, so I don't have it ready right now, but I okay. would mount it like right here. Uh -huh. And then um, they came out with a wireless module that allows you to connect to their, their um, app on the iPhone uh -huh. or iPad. So uh -huh. now you've got this amazing 4K camera that shoots 4K 60, beautiful video, um, slow mo stuff. It does all of it. Now I can see it on my on my um, iographer with my phone or my iPad, and I can move around. Um, if you need great audio, you can put on a zoom up here on your top of your iographer and just get independent audio from this because um, they don't have the speaker module, uh, not the speaker, the audio module yet hasn't been made it's going to be released soon but okay. eventually you'll be able to plug in a microphone to the bottom of it and have audio going directly and put any kind of so now we've got it out here on top mm -hmm. right and then down below uh, you have that you have it hooked up to the microphone and um, it's just i am geeked out so bad on this i love this device um, it's like 300 bucks or something like that uh, but it, and it literally fits in your pocket huh um, and it has a great follow kind of thing. So I would I would focus on you and just follow you wherever you went. Okay. And, and okay. it's a, it's it's tremendous. So that's that, that's my little thing. <laughs> that's fascinating. So you actually recommend the secondary camera on top. So and then just using now you can if use you're your looking for that gimbal to, kind of look. Yeah, that gimbal, that stabilization look. And that's and that's you pretty be like cool. Real and follow, focus, and do fun stuff like that. Absolutely. Otherwise, I mean, I've seen people to shoot really tight. And, you know, they're taking the zombie steps and whatnot right, to right. really make it. And you can absolutely do that. You know, it works fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I can find a secondary tool that plays nice with my stuff, I am thrilled. And that one does absolutely. It's great. That's awesome. Okay. So that that's really, that's, that's really helpful. Okay. So um, lots more to talk about here, but I want to quickly uh, check in on our audience and see how everybody, if you have questions or what the comments are here. So um, I noticed a couple people, some people tuning in from Denver, Newport, Rhode Island, uh, from Salve Athletics. We have a uh, bunch of people saying, um, uh, that this is something a really that this is this looks really cool. What is the cost? This is from Chris. What is the cost of the um, Osmo? That Osmo. So you said it's about three hundred. It's it's actually three forty nine. Um, it's called the Osmo Pocket. Osmo Pocket. Um, okay. And um, it is it is worth its weight in gold, and I highly recommend it. And it's it's made... funny because I wanted to be a reseller of their stuff uh, yeah. just because of this. And they said, great, your first um, order has to be 150000 or more. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a little on hold for that right now. <laughs> but I highly recommend it to people. At some point, it'll it's going to happen. Okay. So then, um, uh, and then we have Chris says she's joining from uh, San Francisco. So welcome. Thanks for asking that question. Uh, and then... You know, Edmund says, thanks for sharing. So the um, the sort of question that, you know, kind of this leads me to is so you've got the you've got sort of a case like this. You can mm -hmm. connect, you know, and I didn't really go over this, but on this multi case, you've got two shoes, two hot shoes mm -hmm. or shoe mounts on the top. And then you've included uh, tripod mounts you know, plate mounts uh, on both the handles. So you could mount not, it. Not only tripod, but we have, we sell, um, you're familiar with Joby tripods. Mm -hmm. So we sell Joby stuff and they have these two arms. So you can put two extension arms up here that are bendable uh, to add extra lights. Or if you want to have a GoPro as a second camera or whatever you want to do. Got um, it. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff like that. We. We can pimp this out as big as possible. <laughs> got it. Okay, so you've got um, you've got all these peripherals. You can add all the lights and everything. Once you've pimped pimped it out, what um, you know? Let's talk with like the the apps you know that you mm -hmm. can use. So we mentioned live streaming to YouTube, and I will I'll go mm -hmm. over Wirecast you know Go, which is an app that you can use and actually will need to use if you want to win um, free stuff, uh, mm -hmm. and then. What, um, but there's also, you know, filmmaking, recording apps, and you yep. have a book that you actually go through a lot of these tools, and uh, I bet you're almost due for a, an update or a second edition now. 
Um, well, to... it's, it's funny I, I let you say that because I just did a whole. Um, I'm working on a massive blog slash video tutorial, not tutorial, but video on all the the, the apps for 2019, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, it just changes so often. It's it's you know hilarious. <laughs> it is. It's hard to but, it's, uh, it's hard to do practical uh, advice in books because they're going to be out of date in five years or less. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and so, but let's but yours is still really helpful. A lot of the stuff that you talk about in this book is still right on point. So uh, it's called Life Camera Action, How to Turn Your Mobile Device into a Filmmaking Powerhouse. So a lot of the stuff so you're one covering- One of the big things about that was, was that um, I wanted to be very theoretical as well, not and workflow uh, centric, not just apps or, or devices. And so that in the future, if you wanted to get into different things like live streaming or shooting sports or filmmaking, a lot of the information is still relevant. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And so you're getting, you try to stay high level. First, you talk about devices, then you get into the audio and kind of the principles behind how to add microns converters for mobile devices. So converters, obviously a big deal on how to get, you know, into the lightning or, or USB three or AC or whatever for individual, um, phones then we get into the cases mm -hmm. and lenses and then the filmmaking apps and then workflows so we can kind of we've sort of talked about devices a little bit um are there like you know if people are getting started i think just about any phone you know these days is pretty darn good has a pretty good camera but i mean if people are looking for kind of that good you know low-end cost device whether it's a good android or like a galaxy a samsung or a decent iPhone, and then the Google Pixels. I think. Would you have you have any experience or recommend any of these? For... It, it, it's funny that you say that, but um, I, I, Unbox Therapy is one of my favorite uh, YouTube shows, mm -hmm. and um, I just love seeing all the crazy things he opens up. So the other day, he opened up this Android uh, by a company called Blue, and it's it's. Uh, I think it's what six inch, six point two inch screen, mm -hmm. uh, and it looked amazing. It's the number one selling Android device on Amazon, hundred and forty nine dollars. Hmm. So I am going to do a video this weekend where I'm going to unbox this and trick it out and go shoot video, and we're going to see how good it is. Cool. Uh, but imagine if it works out well. And you get some good images from it. It can capture. I already know that Androids will capture external audio. Mm -hmm. So let's see how the camera is. I'm going to throw um, some lenses on it um, and maybe do some slider stuff and, and just see if you can get quality stuff from this. And we'll see what people think at the end when I tell them this phone was 150 bucks. That would be amazing. You know, not okay. everybody's going to buy. Not everyone's going to buy the iPhone XS Max like me, stupidly, at seventeen hundred dollars when I had all the bells and whistles on it. So, <laughs> so just, I yeah, mean, I mean, it's your your you'll follow that uh, your your pocketbook follows the iPhone snobbery. That's the one they go hand in hand. It's just it's like, but so uh, actually, this would be a good time to put up your contact information so people can know where to find your videos uh, when they're done. Great. Uh, so we actually want to see this when you when you've shot the video and your final review on this hundred fifty dollar phone. So go ahead, Dave, spell it out. Yeah, I would love it if you guys did um, follow me on, on YouTube because we give away stuff on there. Some of my videos, I just did one on a, on the Ceremonic um, uh, V Mic Mini versus the Rode Video Micro. Just a little shootout and ask people to tell me what they thought, and we're gonna pick a winner um, tomorrow and they're going to pick at the microphone of their choice. So I always like to do some kind of a giveaway. I feel thankful that people will come and watch the show. So you should be able to get something out of it as well. Cool. So uh, that's uh, youtube.com slash iographer. And you can find most of the content on most of the channels at iographer. iographer. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, take a look for that review. That, as you said, you're, you're always testing new equipment. You're always uh, um, bringing in new, new, new microphones, new everything around mobile. So you're just so focused on that, and I think it's wonderful because it's basically where I go to get all my information on the latest devices. You're always five steps ahead of me in terms of testing um, new equipment, That's new very devices, kind of you. new adapters. So I really do appreciate that. And I also think the book that you wrote is a wonderful starting point for anyone who just wants to have a little on their desk resource uh, just a quick reference um, and you can jump to the chapters and Dave a lot of the kind of the core principles are still around a lot of the the adapters and the apps are still there so if you kind of 
follow that, that'll get you off and running really quickly. So let's talk about um, workflow. Okay, so you've got, you've tricked it out, you've bought everything you need for your, um, to trick out your phone. Uh, you've got the iographer case, you've got your microphone, you've got your adapters, you're ready to go. You're gonna go out in the field and you're gonna film something. So let's start mm -hmm. with filming. Now, I started doing this, I started uh, when I was on the road using an iographer kit and setup, and I downloaded an app called, and actually purchased for $10, an app called Filmic Pro, which is based on your recommendation, Dave, uh, to kind of unlock the potential of my iPhone's recording capabilities. Suddenly I wasn't limited by the sort of built-in iOS camera app. I could actually choose mm -hmm. my frame rate, I could choose my quality, I could choose how high I want, how, how um, sort of what high bit rate I wanted to record in, everything I needed uh, in the Filmic Pro app. And I would just start recording these clips into Filmic Pro. And what was cool is it even has a, it had a companion app. So if I had more than one device, I could actually kind of set up my shot on one device and then tap record while I was recording on the other. So it was kind of helpful if I needed, if I didn't have a cameraman. Um, so so you still while, you, while you're on that, yeah, let me show you this for a second. So this is Filmic Pro, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, I have this open. Um, and... So I got Filmic Pro here. How am I, how am I going to do this? Let me see. I'll well, I can actually show if you want. I have Filmic Pro on my phone. So if well, you, wanna... you don't have this. Okay. So I've got. Where's my camera? Uh, can I turn my? So I don't know if you see that, oh, but wow, that's yeah. my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my remote control for Filmic Pro. They have a. So, uh, they have an Apple smartwatch. And an actual. Uh, yeah. So that was my lifesaver uh, because I don't have to say, "Honey, will you come in and shoot?" Press right. the start button. While recording um so i don't need anybody anymore i just set my shot up i look at <laughs> tap your watch go boom I, I start shooting but yeah Man. filmic pro has been um since day one i've been i've been with them i've tried every camera app under the sun uh except the one that was a thousand dollars that shot 4k at one time i don't know if the guy sold any of those really a, was, an ios app for a thousand dollars are you kidding me yeah I, I, and everyone hated him, and it was it's <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. But uh, so Filmic Pro, they constantly are upgrading their quality and and the stuff that they do. I mean, I'm shooting uh, 4K stuff in it, um, Filmic Extreme. What it does is, it, it it adds more bit rate to your videos to make them higher quality video than the Apple camera does. I think the Apple camera um, at 4K does something like 60. Uh, megabits per second, but in Filmic Extreme, it goes to 100 megabits per second, which is equivalent to shooting like um, uh, ProRes format or something really high end. So when you bring that into post, it's amazing. So your videos look gorgeous. That is the first, uh, second to audio, I will say. Um, adding some kind of an audio thing, but that the next thing you got to do is grab Filmic Pro. Even if your audio, your microphone is just your headphones, earbuds that have a better mic than just with no mic. Right. Um, but next after that, get Filmic Pro. It's now twenty dollars, but I mean, yeah, it's still things, steel. things aren't free. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Right. And, and it is, and and it is hands down the best filming app out there. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to talk real quick about that because here's the sticking point that I hit, and it's a workflow issue. But I would turn on, I would start recording in Filmic Pro, and then getting my clips out of Filmic Pro, they don't automatically go to your iPhoto's library. You can export them there, but by default, they're kind of locked in the Filmic Pro sort of you know private clip library and in order to kind you know, of you can airdrop them right yes so i started airdropping them but airdrop is a little slow for large files yeah, yeah. so it wasn't ideal especially if i was under the gun and i wanted to quickly start editing stuff um i like to edit on a laptop on my macbook pro so if i was doing editing or anything like that i had to airdrop everything over it took a little time sometimes there's connection issues if you're trying to export multiple clips that kind of gets clunky they come in in different orders a little bit uh what what do you recommend is that just part i mean is that kind of the price you pay for having such a great app not not really i mean my, my workflow is um one of the big things is you got to go into filmic pro and set up your shot names mm -hmm. um so that it comes in sequentially other than some weird, you know, I mean, you certainly can look at, at uh, what time you shot stuff to kind of right. know where you're at. But I like to go in there and say, you know, hey, we're at uh, Social Media Marketing World, day one, video zero one, and it'll start going sequential stuff. 
Okay. Uh, but what I do, so if I'm shooting a ton of videos, I'll, uh, it's kind of old school, but you go in there, you plug in, you go into iTunes, yep. you go to the apps, and yep. then from there you can do uh, drag all of those clips, select them all, and just drag them all into a folder, and it takes you know however long. It's not slow by any means. But, oh, okay. You know, so you it, do it all it, through it, the it, USB it, lightning cable and through using yes. iTunes as your sort of interface. Okay. So that's the that's sort of the step I wasn't doing. I wouldn't go in and dig through and use the apps in, in iTunes. So I will try that next time because that's what I was looking for. That's, I wanted that's something... the easiest way. That's the fastest way. Okay. Because I now, was Now there are um, wireless um, and wired external hard drives that you can save this video footage to. Mm-hmm. Um, Narbox makes one. Western Digital um, has one, uh, and I'm working on a whole video on that. So <laughs> lots of videos coming out. Okay, so as you're but, shooting them, but, it could be syncing directly with Filmic Pro onto this external hard drive, and then you've got a little uh, another redundant backup. How often do you find yourself needing to sort of clean out your Filmic Pro uh, archive on your phone or your device? That's interesting you say that because um, I was just um, shooting. So I have an iPhone. 8 plus that I do a lot of videos with here because it's still an amazing camera it shoots 4k it's like amazing totally so I'll shoot a lot of my stuff in that in here and at my home studio and uh, and bring it in and I noticed um, the other day that I had stuff you know that was going back till last summer and I was like oh my god I gotta get this rid of these clips you know yeah and so I usually like to drag them all into a, a I call it filmic dump <laughs> and that's my dump folder and then I'll go through them all later and see what I need and whatnot Got I like it. to keep it clean. Okay. Another yeah. thing that I, I a little quick tip is that before you start filming, clean out, uh, turn off all your apps, wipe your apps all clean, do a fresh restart of your phone or, or iPad or whatever, um, and then launch your software you're going to uh, film with. Yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. you're in airplane mode unless you're going streaming or something. Right. Uh, but make sure you're in airplane mode because on phones, the LTE can sometimes... Uh, mess around with um, with your audio it make little sounds sometimes mm -hmm. so you don't want that to happen but that's that's a really common thing that you should be doing is to clean out everything and, and start fresh that's a really good power tip right there reset your phone's software close all the apps and even restart the phone and then put it in airplane mode before you begin filming uh, and that th I didn't even think of that, but there were little weird glitches, freezes, apps, and I'm sure it was all the background stuff that I was running on the phone. And one of the things phones do is they're constant. You know, they don't really ever quit apps or a lot of applications. They're, they're little computers running I mean, they're, in the background. Yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Something to think about. Okay, great tip right there. Okay, so if you guys have other questions about that, I think I just Dave. Uh, so. Tim Tim Flanagan says hi, Super Dave. Tim and, Flanagan's uh, a power iographer <laughs> user. <laughs> Justin Brown is on in the house today, so Justin's great. We love Justin. Um, Justin Brown, I love Justin Brown. Yeah, we hey, both. Justin. Great YouTube channel. You should go check out his stuff, and he has a ton of power tips when it comes to. I want to send devices. you uh, the uh, the new multi case, Justin, because mm -hmm. I think you'll like it. Well, we need to see a Justin Brown review of that. Uh, he won't hold any punches, uh, pull any no, punches. No, and I love that. I'm fine with that. <laughs> no, I know. Um, so, um, and he's just saying you can change the default location for Filmic Pro to your photo library, which is great to know. Um, I'd also be curious, Justin or Dave, if you guys know, uh, that, that awesome Apple Watch monitor app that you showed for Filmic Pro, is that also available for Android smartwatches? And uh, with with the Android version of I Filmic don't, Pro, I don't believe so, but I do know. If, I, I don't think they have that yet. But Filmic Pro definitely has an Android app that is that works well. I've, okay. I've heard it's a little tiny bit buggy because it wasn't the first baby, you know. Right. Uh, so, but but they're developing it better, and I've actually tried it on the Pixel. It works great for me, you know. Okay. Um, so they're 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 spending more resources into Android as well. All right, so let's cut to my screen real fast. I've got my um, my iPhone plugged in here, and we can actually just take a quick tour of the app, and then we'll close out with mobile streaming to YouTube and our prize giveaway. So uh, you'll see here, right here, I've got two apps here, um, Filmic Pro, they're in red at the bottom here, Filmic Pro and uh, the remote app. So 
uh, those two apps are kind of the two companion apps. The main app, the recording and camera app, is Filmic Pro. And then the, uh, the other one is this, um, this remote app, which is how I can kind of monitor what's going on. You can hit record and stuff like that. But let's just take a look at the main app here. And you guys can look at kind of how it works. So it's just a pretty standard camera app. What's nice is you've got, you know, um, you've got, you can set focus, right? And you can set exposure um, using these two drag. And you can kind of move them around the screen with your fingers. There's a ton mm -hmm. of settings. Like I said, you can set resolution. You can set uh, the quality of depending on how big your camera can record. So I can record in 2K. I can record in sort of their own codec and other things, um, just so much. I can even set sort of the audio device and the quality of the audio. I mean, it's a really, really powerful app for any recording. Which is, is something that you want to make sure in that audio section, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that it says either headset microphone or um, the name of the microphone you have it plugged into. So yep. like if it says Rode Video Micro or whatever, but you want to make sure of that. Do you ever have any uh, syncing issues with Bluetooth Bluetooth microphones? Do you ever notice the audio is I've, is I've only tried one Bluetooth microphone with this, and I wasn't a fan yet. Um, okay. I'd like to see that happen one day, but okay. uh, but you know, of course, wireless microphones, just normal ones, but right. not Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you just leave it in PCM, or do you like to go? AI? I, I leave all the defaults. Um, okay. I usually, well, yeah, whatever it is, forty-eight kilohertz. You know. Cool. Um, the other cool stuff in there, if you can get out of this screen, yep. well, you can set presets, Yep. but you can, but if you get out of the screen, so yep. now if you go and, and, uh, click on, um, that right there, that's, that's where all the power is going to be on your, on your lighting. You want to white balance everything. Uh -huh. We're going to answer that call real quick. <laughs> right. going to uh, answer that call. Spam <laughs> caller right there. <laughs> you want to, um, white balance stuff has auto white balance there. It's got different, uh, color temperatures you can play with, mm -hmm. uh, to shoot with. And then the middle button there, uh, um, right if here. you click on, on the left yep. hand side, so that unlocks, um, the cinematographer kit. And that is where the amazing stuff happens. Whoa. It's like, it's like $14 or whatever. But now that, um, lets you have raw footage so you can shoot in log format. I was going to ask. Um, so if I want yeah. to actually shoot in raw and then color balance, uh, like in DaVinci yes. Resolve or something, I can do that. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, absolutely. That's cool. Lumetri scopes, anything. So it's got all those toys in there and it's, uh, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. That's amazing. Um, I think if you double tap on the circle next to it right there, uh -huh. um, on the bottom left, Bottom left, double so, tap on yeah. the circle here, or no? Yeah. So let's see. Let me. I, I so here's here. kind of uh, exposure, f-stop, focus, zoom. Yeah. So there you can play with your f-stops and what. Um, let me see where the. How am I going to get to this part? Let's see. Let's go back. Uh, where is it? Where's my zebras? There's a zebra. There's the ability, and I don't know where I am right now in Filmic Pro. Oh, oh, here we go. On the top, there you go, right there. So yep. you see the things on the top there? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. now if you click on the left, uh, the top left Oh, yeah, one, it shows you what's blown tracker. out. Yep. Yep, so that's that's going to show you what's blown out and, not, and whatnot. You can change your, your settings there. And well, it's got this? all kinds of options there for cool. for great, um, I mean, it's it's a full-on DSLR type you know workflow with this thing. It's great. Right, that's really cool. This is amazing. Yeah, I don't think I ever got this deep into it. I mostly would just set the sort of default and, um, but yeah, it's just, this is cool to get a quick tour. Well, of it. that's the thing. You can certainly do point and shoot. You know, make sure that you have your your uh, your light locked and you have your um, your focus locked, and you, right. you're good to go. Okay. Well, that is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's our, it's our client. Um, so highly recommend that for any uh, sort of static recording you're doing so now i we, we have to talk about live this is a live show and we want and we talked about streaming live to youtube so um some of you already are familiar with uh our live app for ios devices called wirecast go um and it is a pretty cool little app that's going to sort of increase your production value so once you've got the iographer kit and you've got sort of your your standard filming you know app through filmic pro for any recording you want to do and you want to go live and you want to go to Facebook or you want to go to YouTube, you can of course use the built-in apps. You know, I think YouTube makes its own live streaming app um, or, or the YouTube app allows live streaming to YouTube. Uh, so does, um, and Facebook, you can use the standard Facebook app on your phone, but those aren't going to give you any very much production power or the ability to switch shots or bring on lower thirds or graphics and things like that. So having a good live production tool 
like Wirecast Go, uh, really makes a huge difference and can take it from just a selfie sort of, you know, no bare bones video, or if, you know, some of those AR effects, which are kind of built in, they're kind of neat, but they don't necessarily let you do production where you want to um, introduce topics or bring on graphics or, uh, you know, just go to uh, additional sources. So Dave, we can talk a little, let's talk a little bit about that. And we'll start with Wirecast Go, but um, obviously Wirecast Go is not going to allow for multiple cameras. So we'll need to talk a little bit about a mobile switching solution for multiple cameras as well. So, or Wirecast at home with Wirecast Go, which I do all the time. <laughs> yes, you can do that too. So if you want to link it on your Wi-Fi and just use your phones as little mobile cameras, you could, of course, turn any iographer camera. We tell this to schools a lot too. They'll say we have a ton of iPads or iOS devices and we have Wirecast. How can we turn those all into cameras? And so we tell them you could just you use iographer. You've got the, the full filmmaking kit. Uh, and if you have a Wi-Fi network, you can turn those into little mobile cameras and run around and get all the content you need uh, wirelessly. Uh, so that's something that happened that we, we know a lot of Wirecast users use. Okay, so let me pull this up and we'll talk a little bit about Wirecast Go. Well, so, while we're talking about Wirecast, I, I put up in the comments a link um, to, I have a class on Udemy for Wirecast 7 that people love and they want me to do 11, but the free, uh, I'm giving the free coupons if you have remotely want to get into Wirecast itself. Um, I have a whole training thing there that you can have for free um, and it's for Wirecast 7. So there's some things that are missing uh, that with the latest uh, build, of course, but mm -hmm. um, I, I answer questions in case you have, uh, you know, if you're interested yeah, in that. Yeah, anyway. actually, this is something I've been meaning to do as well. I think I, uh, I don't have a Udemy course on Wirecast and it's something I've been wanting you should. <laughs> to do. So uh, I should, uh, this has motivated me because I think you have one, Paul has one, and I, I haven't done one and I probably should and I'm probably in a better position to stay up to date on latest features. Yes. Uh, yes. Than you guys, it's, it's kind of my job. Uh, so yeah, for now, go to Dave's, that's a great place to go. And then um, hopefully I'll, if I, I have some time coming up here, I will post a, a Udemy course as well, and people will cover the latest features. But yeah, Dave, if you get to 12, please, uh, 11 or 12, I think 12 is around the corner, um, will be, uh, we'll, that's a great place to go. All right, so let's go to Wirecast Go here on my phone, and we'll talk about briefly about this, Dave, and how uh, you've seen or how you recommend people use this. So um, it's downloadable, it's free, and uh, it works in portrait or landscape, which is fantastic. And you can By already see- By the way, see... don't shoot portrait ever. <laughs> you know, there are- <laughs> That's so my we pet can, peeve. We should talk about that. Uh, there are some people who recommend, you know, you get better better, uh, you know, engagement and things like that on, on social streams with portrait. You don't, you don't, you don't agree. I, I've never been a portrait person. So okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm old school filmmaker. I love widescreen. I love uh, 16 by nine. I love anamorphic, you know? Yeah. But I, uh, I told, I mean, you know, when we're on, when I'm doing uh, Instagram live or something, you know, I totally get it. I get it. So we've got the uh, phone camera switch here uh, right at the top, just by using that top button. We're not actually streaming yet. It's just showing you what you want to do. It's also, you, you'll notice that you've got this, um, uh, I'll switch back. So it's, so I can actually kind of gesture, but up in the upper right corner, there's a little like audio meter and that actually, if you tap it and it'll go gray, that lets you know you're muted or not. So that's a really handy thing to do. And then the, the final sort of step here is that you've actually got, um, with the, with the app, the ability to switch shots. So you can actually create, um, additional layouts. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, this one I, I've zoomed in a lot just by, pinching the camera source and moving it around the screen, I can actually lay out, you know, exactly sort of a cropped shot or a wide shot. I could put myself side by side with say something I'm talking about. So if I wanted to load up, um, say another source, maybe some slide images. If I want to cover slides and go over slide one, slide two, slide three, I could do a whole presentation. I do that just by tapping the plus button to add another layer. You can see in the, the, the bottom one, it's actually filled in the lower layer with a little thumbnail of my camera. And it's showing me that that actually has a, this source is on the third layer, which is the lowest one. So we can go to the second layer and we could add um, like a screenshot. So here's a snowman that my kids made uh, just the other day, because we had a little snow up here. 
And uh, I could be talking and do an example of Snowman, right? And this could be going live to Facebook or YouTube or any destination that I want. So I've got the ability to create graphics, create overlays, and I still haven't even used all three of my layers, right? So then I can come in, and if I, say, in Photoshop, created some um, handy uh, additional sort of overlays, which I've done in the past. I think I've done on some Wirecast demos, but you could have a topic overlay, which you could bring in and set up ahead of time. And this shot is saved. In this case, I'll just show, say, another angle of the snowman. So maybe, you know, they're not that different, or maybe that's the same one, but you could just imagine this is a graphic or a title. And then um, I've, this is all saved in this particular shot layer. And I'm, I can easily switch right back to my original camera angle. And when I'm ready to switch uh, back to my, my second one, I can go there. And there's just a quick transition that's happening. All of this would be happening live and in real time, which is not something, say, the Facebook app can do or the YouTube app can do. So one thing I, people always ask me about is how do I stream better to YouTube? Well, step one is give yourself a little horsepower in terms of your production. Uh, and switching. Well, it just, it just makes it so much more interesting than just seeing someone, even someone as handsome as you. Oh, thank um, you. You still want to see. <laughs> you still want to see other things like, you know, this is what I'm talking about. This is the thing I just discovered. I'm at this convention. This is the uh, the new microphone I wanted you to see, or whatever. So yeah, you could go I think around. That's really important. Collecting photos at Social Media Marketing World and say, you know, I've, or at, at CES and say, here's a great photo of this cool new thing. And you don't always have to be live. It's nice to have a demo, but if you want to do a quick tour of other things you've done or moments that you can't necessarily give them a summary, it's it's a great example of all the possibilities you can do with this thing. Um, okay, so uh, now. Maybe we should talk briefly about how to set it up to go where you want it to go, right? Um, because we kind of talked about setting up shots and layers. Let's talk quickly about um, how, do, how do you send it to YouTube? How do you send it to Facebook or to send any other location or destination? So right back here, I'm going to jump in and we'll show the uh, output settings. Try it again. Is it still flickering? It might just be my connector here because I've got the sort of odd, odd connector. Is it still having trouble? Okay, so um, looks like we won't be able to show you that. Sorry, guys, because I, I think we may have a cord issue or something. But uh, the main the main issue you'll want to think about here is, is or the, the way to set up your outputs is just uh, you can automatically sign into your YouTube account and you can create and manage events and stream live directly to them. And you can even read the chats as people are sending them uh, so you can interact with your YouTube audience directly through the app. So YouTube was totally cool. We worked very closely with them and made sure we could implement their live API in Wirecast Go. And then if you wanted to go somewhere else like Facebook or any other destination, uh, you could just enter the RTMP address. So most of those destinations give you RTMP as a, as a source. So Dave, you've got it there this is you can kind of make it out it's a little blurry but thank you for showing that it's just a menu where you enter the destination url or you can enter your youtube address it's optional um i think only if you want to custom rtmp that's a paid upgrade so youtube mm -hmm. is free but if you want to stream anywhere else or unlock it to any destination you'll need to pay like six bucks so, which is just a deal breaker i mean it's crazy it is <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the cool thing is it also interfaces with Rendezvous for free. So all the free stuff mm -hmm. is in the, the basic version, and you can use that as a Rendezvous uh, you know, free option for you guys. So, Dave, have you, had, um, have you been in the field and tried a Wirecast Go stream uh, any time in the recent past? Well, I, I, I think you guys were the first real um, software that was able to do the switching like that with had you know different shot angles and stuff mm -hmm. that you you showed so when it first came out i used it all the time it was great um mm -hmm. and then now i use it primarily when uh, every saturday i do my live show on facebook um with wirecast on my imac pro because i just love the big screen and um and then i bring in all my extra cameras using um uh, uh with wirecast go mm -hmm. uh, did i say wirecast go on saturday no wirecast uh, and then Wirecast Go for my my extra camera angles, and I'll set up. You know, I have a pretty strong Wi-Fi in here, so I'll set up a bunch of angles. And you know, hey, take a look at uh, 
I had my pool shot right here out in the pool, you know, just fun <laughs> stuff like that. Hang out and, with David. Um, yeah, and so it's just so simple. It, it reads it automatically. I mean, I, I go into the menu on Wirecast. It says, do you want this phone or this iPad or, you know, click it. It's ready to go. It actually starts now, I think, on its own, and, mm-hmm. and it's ready to go. So it's been a, a great um, tool for me for that. I love yeah. it. That's awesome. So it is, it's designed to be multifunctional. It's actually the combination of two apps. We used to have two separate apps for this. One was Wirecast Go, which was for sort of remote mobile live, LTE streaming and switching. And then we had the Wirecast Cam app, which was just for local stuff with pairing with Wirecast on your Wi-Fi. And you know the goal was to eventually combine all both those functionalities into a single app so you could use it on your network with Wirecast or laptop or wherever, or you could use it in the field as your mobile production switching studio. Now it is iOS only, so there is still no Android version as of this this video. Uh, but uh, you know it's still you know for iOS users it's a great great companion to Wirecast, or it can stand on its own as sort of your easy to use uh, little switching production switcher in the field. Um, and it doesn't pair with additional copies of it. So it's not a multi-camera production switcher. You need Wirecast to be that bridge if that's what you want to go with. Uh, mm-hmm. Or if you are trying to go strictly iPhone, strictly iPad, you'll need something like Switcher Studio or something that allows you to sort of you know, have a uh, pair multiple phones together out in the field, um, which typically still need a Wi-Fi network, right? You, it's not like you can escape the yeah. need for that Wi-Fi. That, that's my workflow. I mean, I'm at home in my office. Um, I, I want the horsepower and everything that I'm, I'm going to run Wirecast on because I can do so much with it. Right. All my videos are right here on my on my desktop. I can bring in stuff. I can go to web pages. You know, I can just do you know all the different animations. We can do custom stuff, bring in comments, etc. Uh, and then when I go on the road, um, uh, sometimes I'll, I'll be invited to do the live stream for uh, a different convention I go to, like the Q conference, which is a big educational conference. Mm-hmm. And in lieu of in lieu of having a booth, they give us a, a deal where I'll do the live streaming of their t- uh, talks. Um, we use uh, Switcher. Um, I have to bring my own Wi-Fi little Google Puck. Um, then I plug that into um, an Ethernet cable there, and that's kind of like the hub that that the um, all the different devices will talk to. And uh, you know, and sometimes I mean, it's just it just works great. It's it's a great workflow. So both sides are covered, and um, you know, mobile and home and this and that. So love both you guys. Yeah. So, um, and then we've got some tips from astronomy live stream recommend, you know, he uses the iPhone as a roving camera and he also recommends turn incoming calls off and turn on do not disturb on the phone, which is something I'm guilty of. I didn't do here. So, uh, yeah, (laughs) that's that's definitely something I could have avoided. You know, I honestly, I, all I use like my phone for is uh, rather than dig in the settings and and because uh, Apple sort of expanded the whole menu and so now that like general yeah. settings menu is just so long and I just don't even I, every time I dig <laughs> through there I find something new so all I focus on now is just the apps the external apps and then all the system stuff besides turning in airplane mode like I'm totally an idiot when it comes to that stuff uh, so yeah I should probably practice that a little bit more and get into some of those settings okay so let uh, Let's talk about how people can win their iographer. So we promised we would be giving one of these away on the show today. And Mm -hmm. the reason we waited to tell you how to enter is because I wanted to show you Wirecast Go first, because it requires a combination of Wirecast Go and live streaming. Um, Now, you may be an Android user. So if you're an Android user, you're going to have to beg, borrow, or steal. We don't recommend stealing, but beg, borrow uh, an iPhone to or or an ipad or an ios device there's so many out there we're sure you probably have a friend who has one somebody download wirecast go and then you need to stream to youtube or facebook uh and youtube's free facebook you'll have to pay the six dollars for uh, or any rtmp version and you need to stream with a certain hashtag so or actually two hashtags so if you do that uh in the next how long should we give them dave 
Uh, till next uh, week's show, why not? Till next week's show. So we will announce the winner on next week's show, and Dave will have you. We'll bring you back on to help us announce the winner. Uh, since it's your IRFR, you're giving away. I'm probably going to be at Disneyland, honestly, that day, but I'm going to bring <laughs> you bring me in. I'll come in. Okay, all right. We'll try to bring you in through Rendezvous on your phone. We'll see. Um, so we will pick a winner, uh, and you stream out live somewhere. And it, it doesn't, the rules are not complicated. You just need to stream. We need you to switch or just show us that you're using the layers or using some production power. You can bring in, like I showed you, you can bring in a, another picture on your camera roll. You can get really fancy and bring in a couple like graphics or lower thirds. Just use some of the cool features that Wirecast Go allows you to use. And uh, just to show us that you're, you're serious about this, that an iographer is gonna really up your game when it comes to uh, your video production on your phone or on uh, mobile. Now, of course, once you get the iographer, you're welcome to use your Android phone because it fits any iOS. But in order to get this, you've got to find an iOS phone somewhere or an iOS device, and you've got to stream using Wirecast Go. And we don't care if it's on YouTube or Facebook. It has to be. It could be even Twitter or Periscope. It has to be findable with the hashtags because we're going to just search for the hashtags, and it will search the platforms. But if you don't show up easily, then you probably won't we won't find your entry um but you can mm -hmm. add us or tweet us or let us know just to kind of pay it, pay attention to this um so what are the hashtags dave uh hashtags are what where are they what are they um uh, two days uh wirecast go is one and the second one is i need iographer i need iographer so we're going to look for these two hashtags in the same post it has to be a live stream post could be five minutes or less. We're not too picky here. We're gonna look for the most entertaining, the most, the highest quality, and sort of the maybe unique or interesting. We're gonna look for those three things. We're just gonna pick our favorite, and uh, anything goes uh, as far. No, no, no nudity, please. No nudity, nothing illegal. Obviously, <laughs> strict within platforms. No, uh, nudity will probably count against you. Sorry, it's just the way it is. If it doesn't get banned, yeah. and then. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just search for that. We'll look through uh, the winners, and we'll be looking kind of between, over the next week. So tweet, use both hashtags, Wirecast Go and I Need Iographer, hashtag I Need Iographer, and make your case and uh, make it a fun, interesting uh, live stream and use some of the, the features there in the app. And uh, you could win a free Iographer multi-case. And uh, yeah, and Dave's goodwill. Yes. My, my, I will be humbled forever. <laughs> so, Dave, um, thank you. Is there anything else we should mention before we let you go? It's been a long but fun, very you know, action-packed show here. No, I love being on your show. It's always, um, you know, I've been a supporter of your software. I will say I saw somebody um, ask about uh, what are they using for, I can't really pull mine up right now. But, let me see if I can grab um, it. For a controller, but let me, let me see if I can do this. So that's my stream deck. Okay. That I have all set up for Wirecast. Yeah. You can't really see it right now. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we have I, Elgato coming on the show to talk about the stream deck. That's what I was going to say. You said that. I love yes. that. Yes. Um, I love the stream deck. Um, it's so fun and easy to use once you figure it out. But it'd be nice to have a seamless uh, thing with you guys. So fingers crossed. Yes. Uh, so we will, uh, I, I, you know, um, nothing, I don't want to, give any announcements away. I have nothing to announce, but I do know that we're, we're, you know, we, we love the stream deck as well. We want to bring them on the show. We want to talk a little bit more about how it is, how it works. And if we have some uh, possible integration in the future, we will definitely, you know, the Wirecast live audience will be the first to know. Awesome. Um, and yeah, so that's, I highly recommend having a handy little USB controller you can quickly switch shots bring on titles graphics and so forth uh one quick question was from i don't know if we can do comments here again oh there we go uh tim flanagan is wirecast go app free yes it is free there is an in-app purchase to unlock rtmp streaming so you can stream to youtube for free uh, you can get almost most of the functionality in wirecast go for free but if you want to sort of go to facebook or any rtmp destination you're going to need the um, the six dollar version. So uh, there's only there's only one in-app purchase. It's the unlock RTMP for six dollars, I think. Uh, and I think maybe it unlocks one or two other items with the YouTube functionality. But the basic stuff is all there. Um, I think that's it, Dave. 
Go get Dave's book right. once more. Where to find Dave? Where can we find you? Where can people get more? Of your iographer, videos? everything iographer. Okay. Yep. Facebook.com slash iographer, YouTube.com slash iographer, iographer on Instagram. You've got a great Instagram uh, account. I love following that. And iographer.com for all your mobile filmmaking needs. And then, of course, the book, again, life .camera, Life Camera Action. Um, how to I'm gonna how to turn, turn your, your mobile, mobile device, device into a into filmmaking a powerhouse. Thank you. All right, and so go pick up copies on Amazon uh, if you need a desk reference for any of this stuff. So, Dave, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on the show. I really it was Always great to have glad. you on again. Love being with you guys, man. Love seeing all your haircuts. You have a great <laughs> day, boss. All right, you too, man. Have a good one. Take care. So, um, folks, that was our show for today. Uh, thanks to Dave for sticking around for such a long show. I know there's a lot to cover, but I didn't want to leave anything out. We wanted to cover gear. We wanted to cover tips. We wanted to cover uh, the sort of workflow items, apps you can use, as well as the sort of live and the VOD. So if you're recording or you're going live, um, there's so much to know. So, uh, of course, shoot us a question or ask Dave questions. He's an expert at this stuff. He knows more than I do. And some of you in the audience, I noticed, were answering some great questions as well around mobile live video production and streaming. So, of course, we have a great resource in you guys, our viewers. You can actually join our users group on Facebook where you can uh, converse and ask questions like this all the time. And there's a bunch of very helpful people there uh, who can help you with questions on Wirecast or all things video. So uh, I want to say thanks for watching. Next week, we'll be back with Emmy Award winning television producer Ben Ratner. I'm really excited to talk to him about what it takes to create an Emmy Award winning live television show. I think we will gain some really good insights and uh, advice and tips from one of the best in the business. So thank you uh, again. Stick around for that one. It's going to be next week, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time. And you can subscribe at telestream.net slash Wirecast Live. Uh, if you want to get notified, you can also follow us on social media at any of the channels aforementioned. Thanks again to you guys for tuning in. And thanks to our partners for helping make this show possible. There's a number of video equipment providers from AJ to Blackmagic to uh, sort of um, our teleprompter and all of the other companies that help make us uh, make this whole studio setup possible and help you us bring you this show every week. So we will see you again next week. Thanks again and keep streaming.